السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اتبع هدى إن شاء الله تعالى we continue our lessons with Medina Book 1 and we reached the place where in the middle of lesson الدرس الثالث my brothers just let me just remind you of a couple of things any noun any ism any word that had uh, any word which belongs to like an object Baytun or Qalamun or Dabun or Jamalun or Imamun or Hajarun or Sukkarun or Tabalun. These words are usually they will take that tanween to Dhammas. When you read them, you should read them with the two Dhammas. And therefore we say Imamun. Please read with me. Hajarun. Sukkarun. Labanun. Baytun. Kitabun. Kalamun. Jamalun. Okay, all of these words. What do we notice about them? They all end with Tanween. Alif al Lam. We also notice, sorry, what did I just say? I was supposed to have said they all end with Tanween. Yes? And there is no Alif al Lam. They all end with Tanween and there is no Alif al Lam. As soon as the alif or lam gets entered on it, as in the example of al baytu, what do you notice happens? The two tanweens, the two tanweens becomes one dhamma. The two dhammas becomes one dhamma. Baytun. البيت كتاب الكتاب قلم القلم جمل الجمل So what do you notice the difference here? ألف واللام gets added and One of the two dhammas is removed. It's just recapping, okay? Just bear with me. Okay, why do we have this, why do we give this rule importance? Because when you add alif and lam to a word, then it's speaking specifically about a particular one of those 
objects that we are speaking about. Baytun, without Alif or Lam, is just talking about, just mentioning the word house. Any house. House in general. But when you say Al, then you are speaking about a specific house. Al Baytu, meaning the house either that I'm looking at, the house that I just spoke to you about, the house that I know that you are thinking about, the house that we were talking about, whichever it might be, we're speaking about a specific house. Al Baytu, and the same for Al Kitabu. A specific book. Al Kalamu, a specific pen. Al Jamalu, a specific camel. Okay, and so why do we need to know this is specific or not specific? Well, when you are trying to tell somebody, give somebody some, some information, like in the case of the picture here, you want to tell somebody that the pen is broken. So this is where you need Alif Ulam. So you say Al Kalamu Maksurun. Al Kalamu Maksurun. This is the meaning of Maksurun. Can you see outside of this door? Can you see outside? You can see some maybe trees or something, the sun. Why? Because Al Babu Maftuhun. Al Babu Maftuhun. Al Babu Maftuhun. You can see right outside. So now you know the meaning of Maftuhun. And this thing, this pen, you can see something is wrong. This is the meaning of Maksurun. Now you can say the same thing about a something else, Al Kursiyu. You can say Al Kursiyu Maksurun. One of the legs, for example, is broken. You can say, for example, about a masjid. Al masjidu maftuhun. Okay. And sometimes it's good to know the opposites. When you're learning a word like maftuhun, learn about its opposites at the same time to save you, to save you time. Having to learn it is another another opportunity. So the opposite of maftuhun is part of the handwriting because of the mouse. Mughlaqun. Mughlaqun. Two tangents. Two thumbs. Mughlaqun. The opposite of babun is mughlaqun. Al babu maftuhun. If you close the door, you will say al babu mughlaqun. So now you know the opposite of maftuhun. And you know what mughlaqun means. Al waladu. Jalisun Wal Mudarisu Waqifun. Now, Al Walad, we studied that in the previous lesson. Al Mudarisu, we studied that in the previous lesson. You should learn here that I remind you that when Alif or Lam comes in the beginning of a sentence, when you pronounce the Alif by saying A Al. But when Alif or Lam appears in the middle of a sentence, and for example, you have the letter Ra before it, or the letter Ma before it, then you will jump over the Alif, and you'll go directly to the Lam. You will say, Wal. Everyone say, Wal. Everybody say, Wal. Tayyip. Jazakallah khair. Ahsanta. Well, don't say wa al mudarrisu. No, say wal mudarrisu. Waqifun. Now, waqifun 
is the opposite of Jalison. These two are opposites. Now let me take you back to Rakibon over here. Al Imamu Hada Hada Mudarison Badalika Imamun Hada Mudarison Badalika Imamun Hada Mudarison Badalika Alibun Alibun or you might say Waladun Al Waladu Chalisun Wal Mudarisu Wakifun Al Imamu Wakifun or Jalisun Ahad al Imamu Jalisun La Hadha al Imamu Wakifun هذا الإمام واقف أحسنت هذيك. I know you're ready with your mic. I'm just waiting for the opportunity. ما شاء الله. Just confirm, my brother, did you all receive uh, the recording? Uh, we were planning to send out the recording of Hadeepa's reading. For the previous homework, because Mashallah, I would say it was perfect as it was as it should have been read. That was the model the model answer. I wanted everybody to to hear it. Hopefully, you received that in your inboxes and you were able to listen to it. Okay, just bear with me for one second, my brother. One minute, inshallah. I'll be right back. Back with you now. So now you have, now you know the meaning of waqifun. You should also know the meaning of the opposite, jalisun. So here we have al waladu jalisun wal mudarrisu waqifun. And this was homework I asked you brothers to read. If I'm not mistaken, it was this. I asked you guys to read. Now, the whole purpose of this is to show whether you know the difference between this word and this word. The pronunciation. So I needed you to say Masjidun Al Masjidu Al Ma'u Ma'un. But 
some of you read Masjid Al Masjid Al Ma Ma Al Bayt Bab. But this is not uh, where I want you to start off from. I want you to start off with a good grounding, with a good foundation. And a good foundation means that you will, inshallah, read with the Tanween. The or the, the let's say the end sounds. You must read these words with the end sounds because that is where the meaning, the end sound, is what carries the meaning of the words. And that reflects an understanding of what you are reading. Okay? So, Masjidun Al Masjidu Al Ma'u Ma'un. And as you can recognize, this is all a recap. Al Baytu Babun. We do be brothers. Kalamun. Al Kalamu. Al Kalbu. Kalbun. Kamisun. Waladun. Al Hajaru. Al Waladu. Himarun. Al Himaru. Okay, so we're going to spend the rest of this lesson, inshallah, reading, reading through uh, the rest of lesson two, because there is a lot of reading and uh, a lot of new vocabulary, a lot of meanings that need to be understood. So inshallah ta'ala, we will read together and I'll start giving you the microphones to so start reading. And if there's any new vocabulary that comes up, I will ask and also explain what the vocabulary is. Uh, Brother Mirza has his hand up. Is that because you want the mic, Brother Mirza? I'll give you the mic now, inshallah. Okay, I want you to read my brother from here, inshallah. Masjid Al Masjid Al Ma'u Ma'un Al Baytu Babun Qalamun Al Qalamu Asanto um, Mirza, keep going, please. Al Kalbu Kalbun Kamisun Waladun Al Hajaru Al Waladu Himarun Al Himaru Al Hisanu Hisanun Asanta Wabara for Law Jayid Junaid Soyos. Here. No sign of Junaid? Okay, it's going to be a day for. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh hudayfa ikra Ikra Al-Kitabu Okay Al-Maktabu Maktoorun Al-Darfu Jadidun Al-Mudah المدرس جديد سنتا القميص وطيخ جيد اللبن بارد سنتا just hold on there hold on there هذيفا so brothers this one here هذيفا said اللبن بارد بارد 
you do here's your ba, here's your alif, it gives you the sound ba, and then you have ra and ga next to each other. Ridun, ri, ri. So some of the brothers were reading baridun, baridun. This is wrong. No need to say baridun because ri means that you have ra, ya, and dal. There's no ya here. You have an alif which is before the ra, after the ba. In this place, so you will say ba ridun. Baridun, Alabanu Baridun. Okay, is that full of here? Namia Hodefa is Tamir. Al Masjidu Mastuhun Al Hajaru Tabirun. Jayid, what's the opposite of Maktuhun? Mughlakun. Asanta. And what is the opposite of Baridun? Harun. Ahsanta wa barakallahu feek. Wa ma huwa aksu jadeed. Jadeedun. Aks means opposite. Ain ka seen. What is the aks of Jadeedun? Qadimun. قديم أحسنت وبارك الله فيك وما هو عكس كبير صغير صغير أحسنت وبارك الله فيك اقرأ يا هذيفة اللبن بارد والماء حار أحسنت وبارك الله فيك so look brothers notice how هذيفة said اللبن Baridun. He didn't say Baridun. He said Baridun. And then he didn't say Wa al Ma'u. He said Wal Wal Ma'u. And he didn't say He didn't say Wal Ma Harun. He said Wal Ma'u. He pronounced the Dhamma. And then he said Harun. And Harun is the ax, the opposite of Baridun. Santa Hudayfa wa Barakallahu Peek. Istamir. Al-Mandisu Jalisun wal-Mudarrisu Waqisun. Jayid wa Barakallahu Peek. So you know the meaning of Jalisun. You know the meaning of Al-Mudarrisu and Waqifun. Do we know the meaning of Al Muhandisu? Al Muhandisu yes. means engineer. Engineer, Ahsanta Hudayfa. Al Muhandisu means engineer. Well done. Mr. Al Qamaru Baidun. Uma huwa aksu Baid. Farid. بعيد قريب أحسنت بعيد قريب المنزل نظيف جيد المن listen brothers how how they for it he said المن من كسر on the min المن ديلو is a ya here so you must recite, you must pronounce the ya. Al mindilu. Why only one dhamma lu? Why not lun? Why not al mindilun, Hudayfa? Because of alif lam. Barakallahu feek. Because of alif wa lam. Al mindilu. Nadifun. Nadifun. And what is and what is the what is the up is the opposite? Wasikun. Asanta wa barakallahu feek. Nadifun. Wasikun. Nadifun. Wasikun. Clean. Clean. Dirty. Barakallahu feek. Say, my brothers, 
Now I need you all to think of a suitable way to complete these sentences. Al Hajar or something. Al Babu something. You can use these words to complete. Jamilun, Wasikun, Maftuhun, Harun, Thakirun, Khafifun. Jayid Abu Abdul Rabb. It's coming to you. Asanta Hodei for Jazakallah Hukar. Hajaru Sakilun 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 It looks like there's some problem with your mic, Akhil Kareem, I'm sorry to say. Something happening with your mic. Farhan. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't say sa. This is a you have to stick your tongue out forward between your teeth. Taqeelun. 
You can have a beautiful door, but you have to only use one of these options. You cannot say Al Kamar will walk on the road is open. Or you may have to choose open for somewhere else. Allah. 
<laughs> all our doors are closed. Maybe they're warm, they're welcoming doors. Al Babu Maftuhun Jayat. Al Kamaru. Barakallahu Fik. Al Barakallahu Fik. Al Barakallahu Jayat. Al Mindi. Al Mindi. Harun. 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 Hot tissue. This is not good for you. Maybe. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe like a massage. Yeah? Sometimes they give you hot tissue. To massage your face, yes. But not in this case. <laughs> yes, wasikhun ahsanta. Al mindiru wasikhun. But then? Al labano, al labano. Yes, al labano harun. Barakallahu feek. Akhiran, Junaid, finally we got your mic to work. Good news, alhamdulillah, don't go away. Brothers, I can't see your hands up. What I need you brothers to do now is look at this exercise here, look at this exercise here, and I am going to give you all uh, writing tools. I'm going to give you writing control. And I want you to try to write a suitable word over here. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay. Zayfa, Farhan, Nihal, Muhammad Abdul Rahman, take one each. Abu Abdul Rabb, Mirza, Faiz. Okay, mashallah, this is going to be fun. Al-Taf, Shamriz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, Junaid. Let's involve, let's ask for Wajid because we don't have Wajid yet. Go ahead. So here you are, brothers. Here, you, ten of you have a pen. Each of you take one of these places and start writing. Let's say number one is Hudayfa. Number two is Farhan. Number three, if you can avoid scrolling, uh, Farhan, please, please don't scroll, Farhan, okay? Just use your pen to write in the place over here. Muhammad Abdul Rahman, if you can avoid scrolling. Faiz, you also are scrolling. Please don't. All right. Number one, Muhammad Abdul Rahman is scrolling now. Brothers, if you can avoid scrolling, inshallah, it will be much better. Go ahead, Mirza, you want to say something? Got the mic. Uh, it's difficult to write because I'm using a phone. Oh, no problem. You can type that. If you have a problem with typing, put a message on the site. And I will take away your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Janet, Sharif. Okay. I think we have a problem over here with the. Uh, um, scrolling up and down. Okay, Janice, I have a silence. Brothers, go ahead and start writing. I'm going to pause the recording, inshallah, and while you guys get busy completing those lines. So, as we said, number one is Hadefa, number two is Farhan, number three is Nihal, number four is Muhammad, number five is Abu Abdul Rabb. Number six is Faiz. Number seven, Altaf. Number eight, Shamriz. Number nine, Junaid. Number ten, Wajid. Continue, brothers. I'm going to come back in about five minutes, inshallah. Maybe less. Yeah. 
Go ahead, Muhammad. I think you want you had your hand up. Is there for a reason? Want to say something? I'm giving you the mic. Can I say something, Hudaybah? Hudaybah, you have the mic. You need the mic, Hudaybah, because your hand was up. No? No. Okay. No problem. I'll take your pen away. No problem. Which was your number, Nihal? Okay, this is a good way to do it, Shamriz. Yes. Shamriz, also take number, take Nihal's. Please take number three. No problem, Nihal. This is a good idea to, to write it over there. And Nihal, also you can write, Mashallah. Fantastic, you can write it in the, in, in the uh, chat box. Al-Kamaru Ba'idun. Jayid Wirza. I think this is a good option to type in on the side. Because... Because not everyone was able to write. Go ahead, Farhan. Feel free. Al Mudarrisu Waqifun number six. Jayid Ahsanta. Ya Faiz. Mirza Al Kamaru Baidun number five. Ahsant. Nihal. Al Labanu Baridun. Jayid. Rayfa. Al Mindilu Nadifun. Jazakullahu Khairan. Farhan, Al Kalamu Maksurun. Barakallah Hufik. Jayir, what else do we have? Who's number seven? Junaid and Wajid and Muhammad Abdul Rahman. Give us some contribution, please, my brothers. Al-Baytu Qareebun. Jayid. Ahsan Dabba Abdul Rabb. Al-Kitabu Qadeemun. Number nine. Any more, Ikhwa? Are we done? The last one. Who has number 10? Number 10, I think, was... No problem. Anyone can take number 10? Not a problem, inshallah. It was a good attempt. Okay, brothers. Let's keep reading. Al-Qamisu Jadeedun. Barakallahu Fikr Al-Deen. Al-Qamisu Jadeedun. Jayid. Here we have some new words. Al-Kalimatul Jadeedatu. Everyone read with me, please. 
And then if I'm going to give you the mic, if you can read with me, and everyone can follow you, inshallah. Al-Qamaru. Al-Qamaru. Jadidun. Jadidun. Qadimun. Qadimun. Wasikhun. Wasikhun. Nadifun. Nadifun. Harun. Harun. Fidun. Faridun. Ghirun. Taghirun. Kirun. Kabirun. Maftuhun. Maftuhun. Maksurun. Maksurun. Taqilun. Taqilun. Khafifun. Khafifun. Jamilun. Jamilun. Waqifun. Waqifun. Jalwisun. Sun. Hey, very good. Now, we will be pleased over here. Najmun. Najmun. An-Najmu. An-Najmu. Barakallahu feek. Rajulun. Rajulun. Ar-Rajulu. 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 Asanta. Eekun. Eekun. Ad-Eeku. Ad-Eeku. Talibun. Talibun. Ad-Talibu. Ad-Talibu. Jayyid. Notice over here, brothers. Look over here. Notice how we didn't say Al-Najmun. We said An-Najmu. An-Najmu. We didn't say Al-Rajulu. We said Al-Rajulu. We didn't say Al-Diku. We said Al-Diku. We didn't say al Alibu. We said at Alibu. The reason for this is because when you say al, everyone say al, al. And when you look at your tongue, when you say al, where is your tongue? Al. Where is your tongue? Are they for which part of your mouth? Al. Upper and near the front. Upper and near the front. Al. Near your teeth. Al. And these letters. Noon. Ra. Dal. Ta. Yeah, the tongue is also very close to the same place as the al. So, because they are close to each other, the lamb becomes swallowed by the next letter. And it becomes a part of it. So you don't say Al Najmu, you say An Najmu, Al Najmu, Ad Diku, Ad Talibu. Okay, brothers? Is that clear, inshallah? Barakallah. Okay, let's have some um, questions over here. Al-Talibu. Al-Talibu. Am. Al-Dukhanu. Al-Dukhanu. Al-Dukhan is Arabic and also Urdu. So I'm sure you brothers know that Al-Dukhan means shop. Al-Tufahu. Al-Tufahu. Does everyone know what? Al-Tufah is? Yes. 
This is looks like a cherry, but it's not a cherry, it's an apple. Not supposed to be a cherry, it's supposed to be an apple. Atufahu. Atufahu. Almao. Almao. Al Hajaru. Al Hajaru. Al Kalamu. Al Kalamu. Okay, brothers, I would like you now to think of these words and think of these words here and try to link them up. We have a new word here. Maridun. What's the meaning of Maridun? Sick. Ajayid, Ahsad Hudayfa. Maridun means sick. What's the opposite of Maridun? Opposite of Maridun? Anybody? Sahihun. 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 Opposite of Maridun is Sahihun. Also the opposite of Sahih, but as you know. Jayid. Now, I'm going to give you the microphone, brothers. Put your hands up, please. And try to link up these words together, part of a lot of people. Abu Abdul Rab, the mic is with you. Thank you, Hudayfa. Jazakallahu khairan. Other brothers, put your hands up. Thank you, Mirza. Anybody else? Al-Talibu. Talibu. Choose one. Naam ya khiyya abad al-Rab. Al-Talibu maadha? Al-Talibu maridun. Ahsant. Al-Talibu maridun. Jayyid. Nihal. Ahit Nihal. Al-Dukkanu. Maftuhun. Barakallahu fiik. Al-Dukkanu. Ahsant. Mirza. الطفاه لذيذ جيد الطفاه لذيذ and this one with new word it's also in Urdu so it's fine it's tasty go ahead Muhammad go ahead Muhammad first of you please put your hands up inshallah الماء حار جزاك الله خيرا ماء حار جيد still have الحجر and القلم go ahead محمد الحجر الحجر ثقيل الحجر ثقيل القلم القلم مكسور القلم مكسور أحسنت وبارك الله فيك القلم مكسور مكسور جيد جزاكم الله خير الكلمات الجديدة حلو حلو 
don't know where that word came from. I don't remember seeing it in the lesson. Hulwan. Jayid Mirza Ahsad, it means sweet. You know the opposite of a Hulwan? You know the opposite of Hulwan? The opposite is? Anybody? Murrun. Murrun. Better. Everyone read, please. Hulwun. Maridun. Adokanu. Ghaniyun. What's the meaning of Ghaniyun, brothers? Jayid Hazif Ahsant. Rich. And is there any word here which is the opposite of Ghani? Opposite. Fakirun. And how about this word here? The next one. Tawilun. What's the meaning of Tawilun, guys? Tawilun. Tawilun means tall, jayid, ahsan al What's the opposite of, of Tawilun? Is it here mentioned? The opposite of Tawilun? Asirun. Asirun. Af. Sad. Not Kathirun. It's not the other word, which means a lot. Pardon my handwriting. Because of the mouse pad. Kathirun. This is different, different to Fasirun. And you have at tufahu Jay, my brothers. I would like you now to, as a homework, send me a WhatsApp message reading all of this. I have to say, last homework was a little bit disappointing. Because I said in the lesson, the homework due date is 24 hours. I was still receiving homework two weeks later. Okay, brothers, I'll give you 48 hours, inshallah, to read this. The homework is to read from the top of this place. What I just put a box on. And Najmu Ba'idun. Until the end where it says number six, something kasirun on page 17. Jayid, read it, inshallah, record it, read it with the end marks being pronounced. Al Babu, Al Dajiru, try to add the rules, follow the rules. Don't say Al Dajiru, say Al Dajiru. Okay? And Send that to me, inshallah, on WhatsApp. One voice note. Barakallahu alaykum. Within 48 hours, make it your best reading. Make it clear, inshallah. And I will remind you of my WhatsApp number again. To stop here now. Wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.